Good afternoon, everybody. Today it's Monday, July the 31st, 2023, and we are camping. Actually, we are park host at this campground this summer, and we are really enjoying it. I just let you see how pretty it is. It's a nice campground. But I just wanted to come over, come on and give you a word of encouragement today. Many of you are going through some things, some very difficult times in your life right now. And I just want to encourage you um, to trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not into your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He shall direct your path. We've all been through things. Um, my husband was diagnosed with cancer in 2015, but today he is healed and he's working. He's retired, but he's he's working. Like I said, we're Park Coast, and so we're we're volunteer volunteering here. So he's out visiting, meeting people, and uh, cleaning up campgrounds, and he loves it. But the point is that God healed him of cancer. Now he did have surgery. But through it all, he trusted in the Lord, and that's what he felt like he should do, that he should have the surgery. And so he never had treatments, and he's cancer-free today. He had prostate cancer, and thankfully it had not spread to any of the lymph nodes or any other parts of his body. So, But he had a very good friend that he decided not to have the surgery, and he died a few months later with prostate cancer. But there's where you have to trust in the Lord and you have to lean on him and not your own understanding. And you have to pray for his wisdom. You know, Lord, what would you, what do you want me to do? So, you know, every, everybody's different. Every situation is different, but we do know that God is the healer. He is the healer. He can heal through doctors. He can heal, miraculously heal you without any medication at all. That's happened to people. Um, They've had a miraculous healing or, or just divine intervention where God healed them and they never had any, had to go to a doctor or anything and be completely healed. So God can do anything and he is our healer. The Bible says in Isaiah 53 and 5, he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are healed. I'm not looking at my Bible, but I'm trying to quote it. it may not be word for word, but... That's the scripture, Isaiah 53 and 5. So on the cross, Jesus not only shed his blood for our sins, but he took the stripes on his back so that we could be healed, you know? So he did it all on Calvary. Everything, everything we need. He, when he said it's, it is finished, it was finished. He did it all on Calvary. And all we have to do is trust in his finished work and what he did there. I pray every morning for his wisdom and his direction. And that's what that scripture that I quoted to you earlier. Uh, Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not into your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. We don't know what to do. You know, some people have decided they're not going to have treatments. Some people have had treatments. But you have to lean on the Lord's understanding. Lord, what would you have me to do? Have him to direct. He will direct your path. He will. He will tell you what you should do. Another scripture that I'm thinking of too is, and I pray this for myself and all of my family members. Order our steps, Lord. Order our steps in your word. You know, I don't know what to do. I I don't have um, anybody that can tell me what to do. They don't know what to do themselves. So how can they tell me how to live my life and what to do? Right. But we have to lean on him, and that's what, I'm, that's what I'm doing. I'm leaning on the Lord for his direction. Just recently, 1st of May, I felt led of, of God, and I'm, now this is me, this is what I felt the Lord telling me to do, to stop taking my blood pressure medication, which I had been on for 30 years. I stopped it. And I was monitoring with a, I have this little cuff. You know what? A blood pressure is normal. In fact, it's been kind of low at times, but it, it's normal. 
and my doctor was amazed when I went to him in June that I showed him you know my readings because I was keeping up with it I check it in the morning sometimes I check it at noon sometimes and then I, but I always check it in the evenings in the morning at least twice a day in the morning and at night or in the afternoon or evening he was he was surprised he, actually they were fixing to put me on a third blood pressure medicine and I just told the nurse I said I'm not taking it and she looked kind of shocked I was kind of shocked I said it to myself you know I'm not taking it and then I said, I've got to be honest with you. I haven't taken any blood pressure medicine. This was going to be a third blood pressure medicine. And they had increased one of them to twice a day. And then now this was the third one. I, I just told them I'm not taking it. And I meant it. I wasn't going to take it because I feel, this is for me, that the Lord was telling me not to take the blood pressure medicine because it was causing some side effects that I, were de that I was dealing with. And I just felt like the Lord had healed me because I had been asking him. I, I was confessing every day, almost every day, my blood pressure is normal. Lord, I want to get off this blood pressure medicine. And one day I was telling my husband, I said, I don't want to take this blood pressure medicine. He said, just tell the Lord that. I don't want to take that blood pressure medicine. So it has been normal, normal, uh, below 120 over 80 sometimes. Sometimes it's even like below 70, and I'm thinking maybe it's too low. But what I'm trying to tell you is we must trust in God for whatever situation you're in today. Blood, high blood pressure medicine, cancer, um, I don't know, whatever, whatever it is you're going through, a brain tumor, the loss of a child, uh, which, is, which is horrible. I can't, I can't even imagine people having to deal with that. Although we did lose our baby, we, our firstborn was a little boy. He died at, at three days old, and it was devastating. And it, if it hadn't been for the Lord, I don't know what I've, I would have done because the devil was tormenting me and telling me it was my fault because I had taken Alka-Seltzer. And I didn't know that you weren't supposed to take Alka-Seltzer. I, I was having a lot of stomach problems, and I was taking Alka-Seltzer. And he was telling me, you're the one that caused this birth uh, defect, and you're the one that killed your baby. And so it was just devastating to me, you know, to hear that tormenting from the devil. But he's a liar and my baby is with it with the lord <laughs> and his name was jonathan and he was a beautiful baby but god blessed us with two more thank thank goodness he blessed us with another son uh after that and a daughter and today our son is a a surgeon our daughter is a director of a of a business she's uh the director so he has blessed our family and like i said tommy had um cancer so the thing of it is we have we must trust God and we have a she we call her a friend it seems like we've known her for years actually we just met her um let's see June I think which was last month she just found out 2 weeks ago that she has cancer and she's taking chemo she's having really um she's really having a hard time with the chemo the effects of it She's um, nauseated, diarrhea. She's not. She's lost her appetite. She's not drinking much, much fluids. So, you know, we're praying for her. And I've told her. I said, you know, God is able to do anything. There's nothing impossible with God. Ha! Huh, nothing is impossible with God. He can do anything. He can do. He can heal cancer. Cancer. We call it the big C. But there's His name is above cancer. He healed. He's, he can heal cancer. If you have cancer, he can heal it. And that's what we told her, and I'm praying for her, but she's on my mind because she had to call her hus husband home yesterday because she was so sick. And she, and it's just, uh, you know, just think about her in this, this heat and dealing with this problem and this diagnosis. I also have a cousin that was recently diagnosed with cancer. And so many people at our church have cancer. And I, I heard the other day, and I, I hope this, I hope I'm not misquoting or telling you something wrong, but uh, if I remember correctly, they said the ca cancer cases are up 13% in the United States. You know, you would think they would be going down, but instead they're going up. So my point is, and I'm going to cut this short, I've done talk long enough, is that God is able for whatever you're going through today. I want to encourage you just take it to the Lord in prayer. You know that song, take it to the Lord in prayer. Ask for his wisdom, his direction, what he would have you to do. You know, maybe he wants you to 
you know, stop taking, uh, well, I don't know, whatever he wants you to do, he will speak to you, um, and he will tell you what to do. He will, he will direct your steps. He will order your steps. But I do know that he is the healer, and there's nothing too big for our God. So be encouraged today, and remember that scripture, trust in the Lord. Trust in him and him alone. He alone is the answer. Give it to the Lord and take it to him in prayer. Trust him today. God bless you.